Welcome to day two of removing the walls of separation. We were designed by God to have healthy relationships and experience lifelong growth. There's one problem, sin. Sin creates a wall that separates us from God and from one another. Yesterday, we discussed the infinite wall that is removed through what? Repentance and faith in Jesus. Now, this is the most important wall to remove because without the removal of the infinite wall, it would be absolutely impossible for us to be connected with God and have eternal life. Now, if you've been a Christian for any length of time, you may have noticed that while the infinite wall of sin was removed, we can still build a wall between us and God. I call this the wall of the old self. Paul wrote in Ephesians chapter 4, verses 22 and 23, Put off your old self, which belongs to your former manner of life and is corrupt through deceitful desires, and to be renewed in the spirit of your minds, and to put on the new self, created after the likeness of God in true righteousness and holiness. Have you ever found yourself thinking things, saying things, behaving in ways that are counter to God's ways and more like who you were? This is what Paul's referring to as the old self. This is the wall of the old self. The wall of the old self keeps us from becoming the people God has created us to be and puts distance between us and God. So what is the wall of the old self? The wall of the old self is built by the parts of our lives where we remain on the throne instead of Jesus. Now, how do we, rem how do we remove the wall of the old self and walk into the new self? Good question. We do it brick by brick, through repentance and forgiveness. Starting tomorrow, we'll begin to discuss the role forgiveness plays, but for today, I wanna to focus on repentance. While we may not be able to fully remove the wall of the old self in this life, we can definitely shorten the wall through a habit of repentance. A habit of repentance before God is essential to removing the bricks that make the wall of the old self and yield those areas to Christ's Lordship. If you do not currently have a habit of repentance before God, consider starting today. Let's walk in the new self we are called to be. Now yesterday and today, we talked about the walls that separate us from God. Tomorrow, we will begin discussing the walls that separate us from one another. See you tomorrow.